Probably just some crackheads again, to be honest. You're probably right. Either way, I want to get this one over with. Police department. Police department, let yourself be known. Police department, if there's anyone in here, let yourself be known. Ten thirty three requesting immediate backup. David, where are you? try and draw him as often as I can, just to keep his head fresh in my mind. <sighs> uh, pictures, all that, they're just kind of too real for me right now. I want to remember David as he actually was. I want to remember David when he was with me. somebody so close to you overnight, especially without answers. They, they say that 
time heals all wounds. And uh, that's bullshit, obviously. What time can do, really, is help you get a little bit better at pretending that you're whole again. And that'll be fine. Later. I need an answer. I need something I can hold on to. I need something that makes sense. After that, I will gladly move on. This, this is where David disappeared. Yorktown Hospital. Afterwards, I went back there every day for a month. Just trying to get a feel for the place, you know? Just trying to figure out what happened. And uh, I was the only one out there, except for the security guard. David was last seen by his police partner, who uh, survived without a scratch and with zero memory of what happened. That's fucking convenient, right? I called the station every day for a month. They didn't want to talk to me. Nobody wants to talk to me. All I could find out was the one thing left at the scene was his body cam. Footage is classified, but some genius leaked a small portion of it online. Cuts off at the end. So no answers there. I think the point of this really is to find truth, um, to find answers. Somebody out there knows what happened to David. Maybe if somebody sees this, they'll realize that they know something that can help. But more than that, I want people to know David. I don't want to be the only one who cares about him anymore. I don't want to be the only person who cares what happened to him. I want people to see and understand. I want people to know how, after years of service, the department just threw him away like trash. This is the house of one of David's supervisors. He was working when David went missing and he resigned a month after the incident. He never released any info or even attempted to talk with me. On here. What the hell is all this? I just have some questions I'd like to ask. I want to know what happened. Get Mr. some Lopez. therapy. Get alive like the rest of us. I need for both of you to get the hell off my property. Why did you quit your right job? Now. Low bed. Off to a great start. Okay, um, this is the house of David's ex-partner. Last person to see him alive. He hasn't exactly been super helpful in the past, but it's worth a shot. Giles, can you tell me what happened that night? Yeah. There was a disturbance call at the hospital. We went in to check it out. It was nothing out of the ordinary. We heard something. 
So we went a bit deeper. We, we split. You split up. Why? I wanted to see if there was anyone back there. Was there anyone? Yeah. No, I... I don't know, it was just... A head. Did he call them hey, hey, hey. radio? I ran yeah. for the church doors. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, come on. Giles, come on. Ah! Giles, hello. Late at the meet turn arrest. Giles, 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 we're going. And so and so so and ah! The meet turn arrest of my pocket will shine upon them. And so on and so on. by the old Yorktown hospital and I heard this weird screaming coming from inside. Okay, ma'am. We're gonna send a police officer there very shortly. But there's already a police car here. There it is? Yes. Uh, actually, we passed the hospital on the way here. How long have you lived in the area? Well, I can tell you, I've lived here pretty much all my life and that hospital has been weird even before they closed down in 1986. You have to realize, this was a religious hospital, and they took in alcoholics and drug addicts. And those people were some of the most tortured souls that you can imagine. The night you made the 911 call, are you normally taking walks late at night? Well, it sounds like I'm being a bit of a suspect now, doesn't it? Not at all. I'm just trying to get as many details as possible. Well, I have terrible insomnia, and this area is pretty safe, and um, I just wanted to take a walk to calm down a little bit. And I was walking past, and I heard this horrible scream. Like a person scream? Uh, definitely not a person. I got a video of the sound. Definitely wasn't human. Wait, you have, you have a video? Yeah. Can I see it? Um, yeah. It'll take me a minute to find it. Okay, got it. I have your number from earlier and I'll just send it over to you. See what you think. There you go. I have no idea what the police would be interested in this. What time did this happen? About at 3 a.m. Witching hour. What? Witching hour. You know, people say weird things tend to happen at 3 a.m. Witching hour? Yep. But it's probably just some urban legend, right? Well, it's 3 a.m. now, and we're not really seeing anything or hearing anything. I know I said we were just going to wait outside, but uh, how would you feel if we tried to get in?
walkie talk to you. trespass to add to my repertoire. And it comes with a $2,000 fine. Perfect. This is going so well. I think maybe we should call this quits. Uh, you know, this isn't really going anywhere. At least not anywhere good. So, yeah. Bye. You fucked up. Because that's not me. And that's never gonna be me. I'm loud, and I'm pissed off, and I'm not gonna stop, even if I can't make this fucking movie. I'm never gonna stop. Not until I find out the truth about what happened that night. The truth is mine. I own it, and I'm never gonna stop coming for it. I have no life, and no shame, and I'm not gonna stop. I will find him. I will find him again. Okay, so this, this happened three nights ago. Uh, it got uploaded last night. Everywhere took it down except for this weird Russian place. 
Some kids broke into Yorktown Hospital. One is missing. The other has been taken in for a psychological evaluation that isn't saying much. <sighs> this is it. This is exactly what we needed. This proves that there's something going on, that I'm not crazy. <sighs> I mean, I'm not crazy. But yeah, um, we, need to, we need to keep going. We need to figure out what the hell is going on there. Not just about me, it's not about David. We have to do it for these kids as well. Hello? Someone told me about what happened to the kids the other night. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, I have some things that might help. Come by as soon as possible. Oh, okay. I'll be right over. I'm a little hesitant uh, to, to go back, considering the last time we saw him, he pointed a gun at us, but he sounded really desperate. This was David's radio. Why would Giles still have this? Why wouldn't he turn it in? It's dead. Looks like he was having some pretty fucked up dreams. <sighs> tape recorder with tape. It's okay. I just want you to first take a deep breath and clear your mind. Just get used to the rhythm in your head, Giles. Okay. I want you to picture the very last frame you saw that night. I, I, I can't. Giles, please. This is to help you. Just picture that very last image, like a Polaroid. Then we can erase it. It's tall. What do you see? So, so tall. And it's, its arms are long, like a bunch of sticks. Good, good. What else do you see? It's looking at me. Who's looking at you? Giles, what do you see now? Giles? was that?
was just a phone number. Ugh. It's worth giving, giving that a call, I think. Ugh. Hello, uh, yes, this is, um... Sarah Starling? I, I found your phone number. I know who you are. I've been waiting for your call. Is this line secure? For a few years, I was in charge of archiving the raw video data from the city's police body cam program. One night, when I was working, I came across some footage that kept me up for nights. Footage involving your husband. The station took over and deleted everything off the servers, but I made a backup. I'm going to text you some coordinates. Be there in one hour and come alone. Stay here. thousands of hours of raw video. Why are you helping me? That footage is scratching to get out into the world. It needs someone to open the cage. Is my husband dead? It's worse than death. There's, there's thousands of hours of video here. I don't know what I'm supposed to. Good morning, can you say 11? Joe can you show us up with the 925 out? Hallsdale, Rosecrans. Police department, anybody in here? Show your hands. Make yourself known. King one, did you copy that?
wait. Okay. Serling. Serling, July 15th. Three days before he disappeared. Police Department. Ten thirty three. I need immediate backup on Black Valley Road. I repeat, Black Valley Road. Police Department. Weapon down now! Red sister has shown. Put the weapon head. down or I will fire. My Put head. it down! She is eternally hungry. And you're Put the weapon down. <laughs> Ten thirty three, suspect down. That symbol, the symbol on the girl. We've seen that before. We've seen it in Yorktown. Can you recall that footage? Can we see it again? It's the same symbol, identical. Let's see who this guy is. It says, it says it was a murder, suicide. It doesn't make sense. We saw David shoot him. This is the guy from the video. Wait, he has a different name? Hello? Hi. 
Uh, is this... Is this Benny Palejo? That's me. How can I help you? Uh, yeah. I was wondering if you were perhaps related to Dan Palejo? Don is my brother, but we really haven't spoken in many years. Ah. Uh, I see. Um, I'm investigating a disappearance, and his name came up. I was wondering if maybe I could talk to you? Why don't you come by tomorrow around noon? Okay. We'll be there. Thank you. It looks like we have plans tomorrow. I was up all night going through those videos, trying to find any more of David's, and yeah, I got a little distracted. Sorry. Can you can you give me a second? Benny? I'm Benny. You must be Sarah. Yeah. What's with all this? We're just filming all our interviews with people. I hope that's okay. Well, I see. Please, come inside. Don was my twin brother. We both were heavily involved in the shamanistic side of Native American culture. It's in our blood, you see. Although I practiced more of the lighter side of things, he was into the darker stuff. What about his suicide? He did not commit suicide, I can promise you that. It must have been a setup. He must have been into something rotten. A cover-up? Why? I don't know what type of information you're looking for here, but this whole town has been built upon hexed land. They knew it then, and they know it now. For years, weird things have been happening around here, and they've been coming down here trying to cover things up. And this city is already on the verge of poverty. The last thing they need is more bad press. I understand that. My husband was a police officer, and he went missing at Yorktown Hospital. They just pretend nothing happened. Doesn't surprise me a bit. Yorktown has always been a hotbed of evil and natural activity. What about this? Have you seen this symbol before? Where did you see this? Um, I saw it on the wall in Yorktown and in a, in a video with your brother. That is the sign of the Red Sister. A kind of skatakurumuch or ghost witch. The Native American myth goes that she finds a nesting place and feeds on the blood of humans. And if you're lucky, she will just feed on you and leave you to die. But if not, she will feed on you until you take the eternal walk. A walk into darkness for eternity. Sarah, I know you're hurting. And I know you want your husband back. Very bad. But there's usually no coming back from this type of thing. And if you get too close to the darkness, you will fall in. I don't care about darkness. I just need David. I need to know.
there might be a way for me to find some answers, but it won't be easy. There's a sacred land not too far from here, a place where I do my more dangerous sessions. If you can meet me there tomorrow night, I might be able to find some answers. Okay. Do you have a pen? Oh, oh yeah. Meet me at this address and bring something very personal that belonged to your husband. Like a shirt? Something that he touched almost every day. Before you go. Before you go, watch this tonight if you can. I'm sorry for the old tech. Thank you. Okay, does it have the VCR? Pick this up. tape that Benny gave us. Since the beginning of time, witches have appeared in myths of cultures from all over the world, including the Native Americans. These horrific beings originated in the legends of several tribes in the southern United States, more specifically Texas. The more well-known myth is that of the Skadigamuch, also known as a ghost witch a kind of ancient evil shaman who refuses to stay dead. The undead shaman comes alive at night and stalks the land for unsuspecting victims. The only way to maintain their immortality is to feed on the blood and flesh of humans. One of the more lesser known variants of the ghost witch goes by the name the Red Sister due to her eternal lust for blood. According to legends, the only way to destroy the Red Sister is to here in the middle of nowhere trying to find this sacred land. <sighs> yeah, I, I trust him. I think he needs well.
Let's begin. Did you bring the personal item with you that I asked you? This rock is from the fire from the center of the universe. The seed that flew into the womb of Great Mother. David? David, it's Sarah, baby. David, I just need to know where you are. Can you hear me? David, I need you. I am... I'm just gonna need some time, okay? I, I'll call you when I'm better.
Deep in South Texas sits one of the most haunted locations in the United States, the Yorktown Memorial Hospital. The hospital was originally created by a Roman Catholic group known as the Felician Sisters in the 1950s. It was mainly used as a rehabilitation center for drug addicts and those fighting alcohol abuse. Many patients checked into Yorktown Hospital, but many never checked out. It's estimated almost 2,000 people died inside the walls of the hospital, many from unknown causes. Following negative press from all the deaths, the hospital finally closed down in 1986 after losing funding. But the hospital remains standing. Today, Yorktown Memorial Hospital sits on private land where numerous paranormal investigations have been performed, some capturing terrifying moments on film. Is it possible the tormented souls of almost 2,000 people still wander around the halls of Yorktown Hospital? There have been many attempts by the people of the city to have the hospital torn down, but all have failed. The hospital still stands today like a rotting corpse, deep in the heart of Texas. Did you hear that? That's his voice. I'm 100% sure. Listen, I need to ask you just one favor, and then, at, then I promise this will be done forever. We need to go back to Yorktown. I'll pay you double what we agreed. All you have to do is be there and film it. After that, I will be out of your life forever. I promise. It's almost 3 a.m. and the front door is open. Five minutes till three.
still says five minutes to three. So we've been here over an hour. Hello? Garcia, John Davis. <sighs> My name is on this tape. It's not me. Tell me that's not fucking me.
Okay, we're just shooting a film. Giles? Giles? 1033, requesting immediate backup. It can't be. It can't be Giles. Can't be David! Giles. Where are you? David! 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 David. Why are you here? You called me. You called me on the radio. Leave now. But we're here to take you home, David. Come on, David. She's coming. Who's coming? Soon. Who's coming, David? Cut the light! Come on. Oh. Come on, David. Please. Please, David. Please. Please, David. David! David! No, no, no. I am not going without my husband.
You know, it's probably just some crackheads again, to be honest. You're probably right. Either way, I want to get this one over with. Police department. Police department, let yourself be known. Police department, if there's anyone in here, let yourself be known. 